will come back. So friends are awesome, right? You can be antisocial with them. You can take really dumb risks with them. You can even be completely stupid around them and have no regrets. And there are some friends that just kind of drive you insane. So here's our list of 10 annoying friends and you better hope you're not on this list. So number one is the moocher. This one is constantly broke but expects handouts. Take down the mirror for them. I have a quadruple shot mocha, 20 ounce, with extra chocolate and extra whipped cream. Uh, that'll be extra, is that okay? That's fine. So, are these together or like separate? Together. Number two is the bragger. This one may or may not find subtle ways to get boasting in. Oh my gosh, another guy wants to be friends with me on Facebook. I literally have so many guys finding after me. It's not even funny. It's so annoying. Yeah. I bet. Do you have any guys that are like after you? Well, I mean, I doubt it. Like, I've seen the kind of guys that are into you. They don't even count. So number three is the negative one. This one always seems to have something or other to complain about. Oh wow, look how they decorate the new coffee shop. Oh yeah, I was in that coffee shop yesterday and it was like so badly decorated. It was awful. I couldn't even concentrate on drinking my coffee. It was so bad. <laughs> hot out here. Like, I hate summer for this reason. It is so hot. Well, at least you don't live in the desert. No, I went to Arizona for spring break and it was so hot that I literally died. I literally died. I literally died. Number four is the judgmental one. This one always has something to say about you. Oh, are you really gonna wear your makeup like that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it's my style. I'm just chilling. You told your friends that I'm just not your Oh my gosh, do you actually listen to that guy? I heard he's like not even Christian. Uh, actually he is, and he is freaking awesome. Are you like ready to go? Yeah, just let me grab something. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, do you realize how unhealthy that stuff is? You're gonna die of diabetes. You know what? You're gonna die out of diabetes from that fat head of yours, so. Number five is the therapy patient. So this one always cries about how awful their life is. Oh my gosh, my little sister is so annoying. Like, she's always up in my business and I don't know what to do about it. And my parents totally favor her over me. Oh, that's too bad. Are you even listening? You're not even listening. No, I am. I'm Googling how to get along with little kids. Yeah, I can't do that because I'm out of data for the month. Isn't that so unfair? Life is so unfair. So number six is the imitator who basically tries to be a carbon copy. So this skirt is so cute. Right? So adorbs. Oh, but it's kind of like too short. Yeah, way too short. But the color is like totally perf. It's miraculous. But there's kind of like too much purple. Yeah, purple overload. The heck? So number seven is the rival. This one always has to one-up you no matter what. Oh my gosh, my boyfriend Jace is so cute. Oh my gosh, my boyfriend is like so much cuter. Oh my gosh, I got this new job and it pays so well. 12 bucks an hour. Oh my gosh, my job pays 13 bucks an hour. Oh my gosh, I won a raffle. Oh my gosh, I've like won over 2,000 of them, so it's about time that you won one. Number eight is the sheltered one. This one doesn't have much association with the outside world. Oh my gosh, it's such a nice day. Like, do you wanna go to the park? Oh, no, I'm not allowed to go to the park. You might get kidnapped. Oh my gosh, I have this huge crush on this guy, but I'm not sure if I should like friend him on Facebook. Oh my gosh, what's Facebook? Is it one of those evil dating sites I've heard about? No, no, it's just social media. Well then I say no. Plus, having a crush on someone is a sin. Number nine is the excessive sharer who always has some creepy information to you up there. Oh my gosh, I'm overdrawn on my account again. <laughs> You're always overdrawn. <laughs> you should like rob a bank. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to though. <laughs> no, uh, really. Oh! Parents are always yelling at me, like, I'm gonna kill them. <sighs> That's dramatic. No, really. Uh. And number 10 is the therapist. This one takes any little complaint you have and turns it into a therapy session. Oh my gosh, I haven't had my coffee yet this morning and I literally want to die. You wanna commit suicide over coffee? Oh my gosh. Maybe we should like talk about your parents. Uh, is there something that's been happening with your parents at school? You can talk to me, I understand. No, I literally just want coffee. That's it, okay? Oh, maybe we should talk about your addiction to coffee. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, oh shoot, I was supposed to talk. Oh my gosh.
This one always has to. What is it? One has to. Here it is. <laughs> this one always finds ways to. What? Wait, what? what? <laughs> so this one always finds. Like, why do I keep saying find? Stuff. So number six is the imitator. Who I don't remember. <laughs> number six. <laughs> I'll have a crop. Up. Ah! So Shut together. <laughs> You good? It's so miraculous. <laughs> so we so for 2,000 raffles, so it's about time that you got your new way to do Or not.